Very few people know this, but uh, uh, in April, when Nick Price, the park naturalist, and I uh, went on our first paranormal walk together, we go to uh, the area called Shelter 3, which is by the community center, and there's a, a long ridge there. And he tells me, and this is where the insane asylum is. And I'm like, no, this is where it was. And, and he's like, no, this is where it is. Turns out that it would have been in the millions to have demolished the entire structure. So they demolished the uh, upper floors. It was a huge castle-like structure. structure. It looked like a castle. It was long, it was tall, gables, turrets, you know. Beautiful, beautiful building. Um, too beautiful of a building for such horrific things to have occurred there, but, but there you have it. Nonetheless, it did. Uh, anyway, he says that um, there was asbestos in the ceiling of the basement, so it would have been too costly. It would have been something like $2 million for them to de demolish that, so they left the basement and the flooring of the first floor there and merely put fill dirt over it. When we get heavy rains, even to this date, uh, oftentimes things will come to the surface. It will be plates, pieces of plates, uh, bed frames, uh, hospital equipment, you name it. A fork, you know, all kinds of different things. And they'll come to the surface and right at the top of that ridge. In fact, uh, recently I noticed a piece of rebar that had come to the surface from the, the wall, like inside the concrete wall, a piece of rebar. And uh, I took a picture of it. And in the picture, it, it's broad daylight. It was like morning, like maybe around 10 o'clock in the morning. That, I, I find that's one of the best times to go there. You know, night is creepy, granted, but around 9.30 in the morning, that place is off the hook. I don't understand why. Maybe it's just, me because I'm there I don't know but uh, anyway um, I take a picture about 10 o'clock in the morning of this piece of rebar uh, right at the top of that ridge and there's an orb in it a bright orb I mean orbs are commonplace at haunted area areas in the dark it's commonplace thing natural occurrence some say it's dust some say you know bugs some say orbs but for an orb to appear in daylight, that's truly a remarkable experience. That doesn't occur very often. And when it does, you can bet your booty it's an orb. Um, another thing is orbs, they don't appear on command, but when I go to Tom Sawyer Park and I ask the spirits to appear, orbs start appearing in my pictures. Not until I ask them to appear, then they appear. I don't know about you, dust does not appear on command. So, and dust doesn't have faces in the middle of it like some of my orbs do, the picture of the orbs I get. Anyway, little known fact.